Today we will be switching out our regular ping to G-Ping. It will help us to track latencies, use multiple addresses and do many more things. Now let's install and use it. To do so we head over to the install section on the project page, which you can find its link in the description down below. There we have a lot of options, homebrew, scoop, Pacman and so on. Therefore, if you are using a particular package manager, you can take advantage of that. However, in this case, I won't be using any, so we just head over to the releases section. There we have a bunch of options. According to your system and your operating system, you can choose the appropriate one. Since I'm on Windows, I will be choosing this one. Once the download has completed, we extract a folder and end up with an executable. Now, at this point, you can put this wherever you want and create a path variable for it. Therefore, you can use it in any directory within your terminal. However, let's skip it and save some time and directly look at the gping. To use it, I open up my terminal and head over to the desktop. Then I type gping executable like so. After that, I add an address to measure the latency. So I add Google as a classic. Now, when I hit enter, there we have it. It started plotting the change of latency. It is pretty stable at the moment, but let's throw something at it and observe the change. To do that, let's open up a sample YouTube video. And while it's playing, let me change its resolution to 4K. As we can see, it caused a spike. And this is because we suddenly started to consume a lot of bandwidth, which makes sense. It is great, but there is more to it. So let me just close this and exit JPing. Now we run it again, but this time let's give multiple addresses like so. And there we go. It shows chains for both of them, which is great if you are dealing with multiple endpoints. This is something that we won't be able to do with the classic ping commands, at least without doing bunch of chains. Anyways, moving on, we can change the display interval. As we can see from the timestamps below, the default interval is 30 seconds. To change it, we can run the command with the B flag followed by the interval. B stands for buffer and let's change it to 10. So when I run it, we can see that it looks like it is going much faster because the interval was changed. And speaking of intervals, we can also change the sampling rate. To do so, we can use the N flag followed by the interval. To demonstrate it's clear, let's make it 1. Also in addition to that, let's add S flag without any values. It just simplifies the graph display by changing characters from braille to dots. Now, now when I run it again, we can observe two things. First, we see that the table became simpler and second, the interval is now one second. So if I put a timer, we can see it much clearer. In the end, this is the basic usage of GPing. You can configure it more with the things like resolving to IPv4 or v6 addresses, changing colors and so on. For that, you can always look up to the project page. That said, I hope you find it somewhat useful. If so, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And until next time, take care.